Hi guys, the House of Commons hooligan Jonathan Gullis was speaking in Parliament today where he began by condemning the rioting and attacks on police which left a van burning outside a hotel over a week ago near Liverpool. Far-right mobs surrounded the building, intimidating those inside. Now the excuse they gave along with others who were attending the protest was that they had had the asylum seekers foisted upon them and that the individuals in the hotel were not respecting the community. Goulet's, in typical xenophobic style, condemned the riots, but... Mr Speaker, I absolutely support my honourable friend and members across the House in calling out and condemning the violence that we saw that took place and any far-right activists and groups operating in that area. They have no place in our society, as far as I'm concerned. But I'm also very clear that I totally agree with the Minister that we have to stop these small boats and stop the illegal immigration coming to our country. On the 7th of November last year, Mr Speaker, the Minister said to my honourable friend, the member for Stoke-on-Trent South, that he accepted that Stoke-on-Trent had disproportionately taken a significant amount of people in our local area. The Prime Minister, on the 13th of December last year, made the point that the end of hotels had to come soon. We're in the 20th of February 2023 and the hotels in Stoke-on-Trent have still yet to be emptied. When will this happen and will Stoke-on-Trent, will he commit for Stoke-on-Trent to be the first place in the country to have their hotels emptied? Okay, and here we have once again, once again a case of throw the stone and hide the hand. And we've seen it before, for, for example, when it comes to Northern Ireland. The DUP and other parties like the DUP will use language which is designed to encourage, to egg on, for example, in Northern Ireland, loyalist paramilitaries. Those paramilitaries will carry out an attack, for example, burning buses, and then the very next day, the DUP will condemn it. And then we're back to square one again. The same thing is happening here with the Conservatives. They've used language like, language like invasion, knowing that people will react to that. The worst in society will react to that. And what happened about 10 days ago, outside in a place outside Liverpool, you had a riot. And now you're having people like Jonathan Gullis condemn it. But remember, you know, it's, there's all this illegal immigration. So who is ultimately responsible? And I said this in the video that I uploaded about the, the riot. Why are the people who are, were rioting, why aren't they angry with the government? Because it's the government that's ultimately responsible here. They're the ones who decide where people go. Why are they angry with the people in the hotel? In the same way, why is Jonathan Gullis talking about uh, people coming across boats, in boats, and why is he connecting that with the riot that took place near Liverpool? In a way, he's of course trying to justify what the people did. Oh, well, you know, of course they riot when they see all these people coming over. You know, and then trying to shoehorn in his constituency and the constituency of Stoke-on-Trent. Stoke what about our constituencies? You know, you need to remember to empty the hotels there and send the people where. The reason they're ending up in hotels in the first place is because the Tories haven't invested properly in dealing with the numbers of cases. They've cut public services. So they end up, end up having a situation where they're not able to process asylum claims quick enough and people have to stay in hotels because the accommodation isn't available. And no apology here for the language, of course. No, uh, no request for an apology of the language because, of course, they don't care about the, the consequences of their actions. They're happy to use whatever language they want and, and I truly believe it's about convincing people to go out and do these acts because then they'll just turn around and condemn it and continue as before, like the DUP in Northern Ireland. Let me know, let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think about all of this. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.